few years ago, local TV providers made a switch from analog signal to digital signal. And a lot of people ended up losing their free channels that they were getting with their antenna on their house. People had to switch to cable or satellite provider just to get their local channels. But those things cost a ton of money for the subscription. Now people are canceling those subscriptions and switching to a streaming service like Netflix or Amazon Prime, something like that. And I'm one of those people, but I was missing out on my local news and local weather and things like that. So I made one of these antennas so I could still pick up those channels. And now I get about 20 or 30 free channels just with some coat hanger and spare wire and a two x four. This thing may look pretty rough and simple and ugly, but it works. Um, the main part is just to make sure that all the spacing between the ears are right so there's no interference. And I'll draw that out and label the spacing for you. I know I'm not the best artist, but hopefully this will help you. Overall, from top to bottom, it was 32 inches. That's how tall my 2x4 was. Then I cut just regular coat hangers like this into 17 inch lengths and bend it around so each length is eight and a half inches from tip to where the screw is mounted and there's four on each side then I took some screws these are sheet metal screws they have a little rubber washer underneath it already I had some of these laying around from where I did a tin job, but if you just want to use some screws with washers, that'll be fine as well. And you're going to have those holding the coat hanger ears on, but also at each one of these, you're going to have a piece of wire, this blue line here, going to each one. And I just used some spare speaker wire that I had laying around but it's important that you make sure to follow the pattern that goes from here crosses over to there then straight up and then crosses over again you can follow that line and the distance between each one of these screws that's holding the coat hanger and the wire is nine inches and then this middle one here, you're going to have a UHF VHF transformer, which is this little block. And you're just going to need to put one of these screws on the wire, and then the transformer has a wire coming out of each side. And it doesn't really matter which way you put it, just put one on each wire. And be sure to strip the coating back if you have coatings on the wire when you put it on here so the metal can touch the wire. Okay, if you're not confused yet, these 9 inch spacing between all of them and this is going to be in the middle 4.5 inches so it'll be 4.5 from here 4.5 from here then when you get all those attached and you come out to the edges and you start bending your wire ears to the right size from each end of the wire you need a 6 inch gap so that'll leave you a three inch gap between the top of this one and the bottom of the next coat hanger ear. And just do that for every one of them. Six inch gap, three inch space, six inch, three, and then do that on both sides. And that should give you enough space where you're not getting any interference between each ear and you get a good strong signal. Then when you get all that set up, you're gonna run your coax to the end of this transformer and run that to the back of your TV and be sure to put your antenna in a spot where it can get a good signal. Mine's in my attic near a window. Here's a close-up of mine. Let's start at the bottom. There's the base, two by four. Got a screw on each one. Wire is stripped so it can touch the ear here. And then the wire crosses over, goes up to the next ear here. And then from here, the wire goes up to the center and then this is the UHF VHF adapter so it's got two ends coming out that end and then this end you just screw your coax wire in and it goes straight to the TV so from there the wire goes straight up and then crosses over again to this one up here and then the opposite side crosses over 
to here, straight down to the adapter, straight down, crosses over to the bottom. So that's pretty much it. Um, just like I said, make sure you, if you have insulated wire like this, it has a little plastic coating on it, to strip the ends of it at each joint so it can touch. Thanks for watching another Fix It Friday episode. Hopefully this will help you get back some of those free channels you've been missing out on. And I'll put a link in the description below where you can find one of these UHF-VHF transformers. Remember to thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.